Dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, we know that our attitude uh, has a lot to do uh, with success. So whatever situation or thing that you might be dealing with, having a positive attitude can help us to set ourselves up for success. So whether it's work or school, family, relationships, marriage, our health, and so forth. I know I experienced this reality uh, when I had my surgery last June you know, on my leg. I was told and I quickly realized that if I had a positive attitude about the whole thing, uh, that I would really be setting myself up for success through the recovery period and the rehab and ultimately coming to learn how to use a new leg. And so I can testify that uh, having a positive attitude, I think, really helped me out in that whole journey and that whole process. And I think the same can be said for the season of Lent uh, and, and how we enter into this season of Lent and our attitude about it. Uh, it is a penitential season uh, and we do offer sacrifice. We might choose to, to give something up, to refrain from something, or even in a very positive and proactive way to do something, make an extra special effort uh, to be kinder to others, to be more forgiving, to be more charitable to those in need, and so forth. So, um, or we could look at this season as being somehow a burden, uh, something to be dreaded because of everything I have to give up, um, you know, the, the abstinence on Fridays, fasting today and on Good Friday and all of those kind of things. But I think if we have a positive attitude as we enter into this holy season, uh, we will set ourselves up to have a successful Lent and to use this time truly to grow in our relationship with God and with one another. We come together today to receive ashes on our foreheads and it's good to remind ourselves that even though this is a very public expression, that we're not somehow presenting ourselves as being saints, as being holy people, as being better than anybody else. Uh, it's quite the opposite. The ashes on our foreheads are, first of all, a reminder uh, of our mortality, that, that our time here in this world is finite, it's limited, and so we should use each day as an opportunity to be kind and loving, merciful towards others, to engage in prayer with our God, and so forth. It's also a reminder to us and a sign that we are sinners and that we are in need of God's mercy and of his forgiveness in our lives. Um, and, and he's there to offer that to us whenever we choose uh, to ask him for his mercy and forgiveness. So today, maybe I would, uh, in addition to what other preparations you might be making to, to enter into and celebrate this season of Lent, uh, perhaps reflect for a few moments on your attitude towards this Lent. Uh, what is it going to be for you? Uh, is it going to be something that is transformational in my spiritual life? Or is it just going to be a 40-day period of following rules and regulations and fasting and giving things up? Or is there a higher purpose, uh, a higher end to all of those things? Be assured of my prayers and let us keep one another in prayer during this holy time. Amen.